from a point A on highway one has to get by car as soon as possible to point B this is your point B this is his home or something so this person wants to reach his home by car which is located at a distance of L from the highway this is a perpendicular distance from the highway is given to be L now this car can he can drive this car on highway as well as he can drive this car on the fields so it is given that the car moves in the field n times slower than on the highway at what distance from point D must he turn off the highway so basically we have to find this location x where he should turn off the highway into the fields such that the time taken is minimum he has to reach as soon as possible to be to point B so that time taken get x such that time to reach B from A is minimum so one way to go about this particular question is using maxima and minima and the another way would be use use something nice so use something something called Fermat's principle which actually says that light chooses a path light chooses a path of minimum time this is very important that this chooses a path of minimum time not of minimum distance it's only when that your speed is constant then when time is minimum your distance would also be minimum in this particular case it's not choosing the path of minimum distance the path of minimum distance would be this path but no light does not choose this path light chooses the path of minimum time so let's say I want to send a light a ray of light from A which reaches B this is our highway this point is our B this is D and light starts from A and this is our medium 1 and this is our medium 2 in medium 1 speed of light is suppose V0 in medium 2 so speed of light is V0 by n so you should realize that refractive index used to be inversely proportional to speed so this is proportional to 1 by refractive index in medium 1 and this is proportional to 1 by refractive index in medium 2 and this is going to be our boundary this is going to be our boundary and let's send a ray of light which after refraction at this boundary passes through B let's send a ray of light from A which after refraction from the boundary passes through particular point B this ray of light is going in this particular direction which after refraction from this particular point C passes through B so let's say this ray of light goes something like this and after refraction from this particular at this particular point now this is our normal and this is our boundary and it passes through B then I can say our angle of incidence is going to be this angle this is our angle of incidence and this is going to be our angle of refraction and I can say mu1 sin i is going to be mu2 sin r and I am sending a light ray from A to B this is your boundary this is not B this is your boundary so this ray of light choose a path of minimum time your car should also behave something like this if it has to take a path of minimum time so I can say mu1 sin i is equal to mu2 sin r or rather your mu1 mu1 is going to be 1 by v0 sin i angle of incidence in this particular case is 90 degrees that's sin 90 is going to be mu naught mu 2 mu 2 is going to be 1 by speed v naught by n sin r now if this angle is r look at, look at the figure then this angle is going to be r this distance is given to be L and we have to find this particular distance x 
sin r sin r is going to be perpendicular over hypotenuse that's going to be x over under the root of x over under the root of l square plus x square and we eliminate this v naught we have the value of x x comes out to be l divided by n square minus 1 so you realize this is a question of kinematics or rather this was a question of mathematics in mathematics it's a question of maxima and minima but what I have done is I have used the concept that a light, light chooses a path of minimum time and solved it using a by sending a ray ray of light from A which is going to pass through B in fact if you realize this I'm actually saying that the Snell's law can be proved by using Fermat's principle Similarly, your laws of reflection can be proved using Fermat's principle. A more mathematical way to solve this particular question would have been, let's assume that a car is going with speed V0 at a point A and it has to turn at a particular point at a distance of X from D and it passes through point to reach point B. So the time of time taken by this car to go from A to C then from going from C to B is the total time taken by this car to reach from A to B this total time comes out to be nothing but let's assume that this distance is A then I would say A minus X by V naught plus under the root of this is our time car takes to go from A to C plus time from C to B that's going to be under the root of X square plus L square that's the distance of C to B upon V naught by N we have T as a function of X we have to find value of X for which T is minimum so I would actually say that DT by DX should be 0 we have to find that particular value of x that would either give us that value of location c for which time is either minimum or maximum and on solving this differentiating this thing with respect to x and solving for x again x comes out to be l upon under the root of n square minus 1 but this is definitely a longer way as compared to our just using Fermat's principle and saying that the light chooses a path of minimum time.